The pandemic has been isolating for all of us, but for the deaf community, it has been especially tough. When this week's Denver 7 Everyday Hero heard a camp that helped her as a child was at risk of closing for good, she immediately stepped in to help. For most of her life, Christy Smith has lived in two worlds, a world of the hearing and one of the deaf. Born premature, she lost her hearing at six months, but it wasn't until age seven she would discover another world, one where kids were just like her. Many deaf people are born to hearing families, about 95%. So they're not born into deaf culture, and they never realize that there's something out there that really fits their identity, like the deaf community. So we have to find that place ourselves. For Christy, that place was the Aspen Camp for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. For deaf people to have that space when we're constantly in the hearing world, trying to navigate the hearing world and navigate these, you know, these discontinuities that we feel and being a part of a community, where can I get that feeling from Aspen Camp? Tucked away on 17 acres of pristine land and snowmass, it's one of the only year-round camps in the world connecting deaf people, both young and old, with nature. But in 2019, after more than 50 years of hosting campers, things took a turn for the worse. The camp was having a lot of facility problems. Um, they didn't have a lot of funding because of COVID and some other issues. So they essentially closed the camp. And that just didn't sit well with this former camper. Now is the time to save the camp. <laughs> In just a short amount of time, Christie has reconnected the deaf and hearing communities, helping raise thousands of dollars for building upgrades and repairs. And now, after nearly two years, the camp will welcome a few families back in July. I already have my community. I already have my, my ties to the culture. But there's so many children out there that do not. So, yeah. That's given me the passion and the motivation to just, hey, let's get it started. What do we need? How do we need to do it? Let's get the camp up and running. For a community affected by an invisible disability, there aren't words in any language to express their gratitude. It's isolating here, isolating here without a community. Without yeah. Community. So finding. This Finding this family. Camp. This family. It feels very. So you're yeah. happy. <laughs> happy tears. <laughs> Christy, on behalf of Denver 7 and American Financing, we want to honor you as a Denver 7 everyday hero. You are an inspiration. Thank you. And if she looks familiar to you, she was the first deaf contestant on Survivor, the Amazon, and also co-founder of Discovering Deaf Worlds. Certainly deserving of that award. If there is a hero in your community Denver 7 should recognize, you can nominate them on our website, thedenverchannel.com slash hero.